As we look at the landscape that we're in, there's a lot of impersonations. And so what do we do or what can we do today? The first thing is stop using static information, right? Your bureau data and all that type of data. You got to use intelligence from multiple sources and corroborate them against each other. And you got to do that in real time. The second thing that you want to do is really think about authentication differently, right? Today you're onboarding customers, you're probably capturing some biometrics, but you're never using those biometrics again. And you're driving customers to use passwords. And passwords, frankly, are broken in today's world. And so as we think about where we're going and what you can do, one thing is to take, not only to bind the device to the account, which is a great thing and you should continue to do that, but also capture the biometrics and bind those biometrics to the account as well. And the benefits there are essentially if someone walks into your branch or your storefront or calls your call center, right? You can basically say, no problem. We just need you to take a selfie or to say something and we'll verify you. And we're gonna bounce that off records that we have at the time of onboarding, at the time of origination. And so this is a huge element of delivering a better customer experience and ensuring high integrity and high assurance and that you're really interacting with the right individual on the other end. So one of the weak channels is customer service and customer care, right? And that's because of impersonations. It's pretty easy for someone to call in sound really jolly and have all the information to basically spoof the rep on the other line, right? So they're using the stolen credentials, the stolen PII data that they have, and then they're using a SIM swapped device as their second factor of authentication. As soon as they do that, they basically have reset your account, right? They've, done, they've successfully recovered the account, and now they have access to all of your accounts and your identity online. So the way fraud works in today's world, it's basically in spikes. Fraud doesn't happen continuously, but it's basically dormant, and then they do a big spike, right? And the velocity, when you look at, has this email address been used? Has this address been used, right? How has this template been used or this face been used? And how often has it been used? These are highly indicative of bot type fraud attacks. And so the velocity checks are extremely important to identify those big compromises that are happening 